People who suffer from PTSD, panic attacks, or other neurological disorders have new hope for treatment thanks to new research from the Salk Institute right here in San Diego. I spoke with the scientist who discovered a breakthrough in how our brains send signals to the rest of our body, unveiling pathways to help. This is the, the electron microscope image of the, the mouse brain. In his office at the Salk Institute, Dr. Sung Han showed me images of neurotransmitters in the brain. A small vesicle packages the, the fast transmitter, and these large vesicles packages the, the slow transmitters. It's something he's been studying for eight years in his lab, analyzing mice brains to see how those neurotransmitters send signals from the brainstem to the amygdala, the part of the brain that handles emotion. I'm no brain scientist, so Dr. Han broke it down simply. In that picture from his office, the small green circles are called glutamates. They get messages to the brain super fast. The big purple circles are neuropeptides. They move slower. They're the ones his research zeroed in on. Dr. Han compares those neurotransmitters to like a fire alarm inside your brain. It sends signals warning you of danger, but sometimes it can send false alarms. That could lead to things like PTSD, migraines, fibromyalgia, even panic attacks. His research found ways to track and block those signals, and that could lead to better treatment for all of this. Previously, people had an idea about it, but never tested because there's no tool to, to study that. As part of that research, Dr. Han's team created a tool to track the signals. That tool and their findings about the neuropeptide's role in false alarms are part of a study he published this summer in the medical journal Cell. So it's a protein and we specifically target it to the, 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 the vesicle that packages the, the neuropeptide. And when it's being released, the, the fluorescent signals changes and then we uh, we can detect that fluorescent signal changes he believes this research will let companies create medicine to block the neuropeptides when they send the wrong message that could be a huge help to San Diego's large veteran population a recent report from the National Center for PTSD found 23 percent of vets in VA care had PTSD at some point in their lives there's already similar medicine on the market. Semaglutide and other new weight loss drugs target the neuropeptides that tell the brain if you're hungry or full. So likewise, for like a pain or PTSD or those, those first alarm system, if we block those neuropeptidergic signaling, I think we may be able to alleviate the symptoms caused by the first alarm. Now, the tools that Dr. Han and his team developed could also be used to study how opioids affect the brain. He says that could help the country fight the fentanyl crisis. Health and biotech breakthroughs like this are just one of the areas I cover. It's kind of fun to learn all this new science -y yeah, stuff. Yeah, every time I see it, I learn something new. Talk to people who are, like, way smarter than me about it, too. If you have a story idea, let me know. Shoot an email to jared.aarons at 10news.com or just scan the QR code on your screen. Yeah.